A special guest was on hand for the festivities as this year's Winter Carnival wrapped up. ABC 10's Q&R Bureau reporter Sam Ali caught up with gubernatorial candidate Mark Schauer to see how the campaign trail is shaping up. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Mark Schauer made a stop at Michigan Tech this weekend. He was accompanied by Representative Scott Dianda on his tour of the UP and Schauer says he loves coming to the Copper Country. It's great to hear people's concerns about our state. I mean, they're very concerned about the governor's job-killing retirement tax, about education cuts. Uh, their number one concern is jobs and, uh, you know, that's why I'm running for governor. He was very impressed with many of the snow statues on campus. Schauer added that while the UP has many great things about it, there are some issues that are prevalent. The UP is a special place because of, you know, real sense of community, uh, the importance of uh, strong, healthy local schools, healthy communities. Um, but, you know, the unemployment rate here is higher than downstate, and we need to do something about that. The UP has fell on hard times lately with the propane crisis, and Shower hopes it gets resolved soon. This is devastating to families. I mean, it's, you know, brutal uh, on their pocketbook. Some families can't pay, so we need a variety of tools and supports and relief to help during this crisis. Shower also stopped by Lance Manufacturing during his UP tour and spoke to President Mark Massacott about his vision for the state of Michigan. Shower says he is well aware of Governor Snyder's efforts to finally help fund higher education, but he added that he will continue to echo that statement during his campaign. It's getting more expensive for students. Uh, for many, it's just out of reach. And, you know, I'm going to be the education governor, and that includes making sure that higher education is affordable and we adequately support higher education in Michigan. Another hot button issue in the state is the possibility of increasing the minimum wage, and Shower says why not? Half of minimum wage earners work full time. Most of them are, are adults. In many cases are raising kids and raising their kids in poverty. So uh, I think those workers deserve a raise and it's going to help our economy a lot. With only nine months left until Michiganders cast their votes, Shower wants his message to be loud and clear. I'm going to be a governor that puts education first that uh, you know, we become a high-wage, high-skill state, that we have quality, healthy, vibrant, dynamic communities that attract young workers and investment and help create jobs. That's my vision for Michigan. For ABC 10 CW5 News Now, I'm Sam Ali.